But yeah, man, welcome back to the Snake Trap Sessions. I am so excited to be back. It's almost time for Trap Fest. Are you ready for Trap Fest? Capone, are you ready for Trap Fest? Wow. What is good, everybody? It's your boy MJ up in the building. Welcome back to another episode of the Snake Trap Session Vlogs. Do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button. Be part of that notification gang that we are on top of every single vlog I drop here on this channel. You never know what kind of info, what kind of updates I'm gonna bring you. All you gotta say is shout out to all my subscribers, shout out to all my supporters, shout out to everyone who come here and check out what I show and what I share because it's all my passion. But so much going on, guys. I wanna say, first and foremost, Shout out to my Patreon members, man. If you are part of the Trap Talk Patreon family, I just want to say first and foremost, I love you guys. The reason why I'm kind of stressed out right now is because of my Patreon members. No, not really, but I am throwing my yearly event for all my Patreon members who want to come in and hang out here at the Trap Farm, okay? So it's going to be going down next Thursday. We are limited on time. I have to get the yard finished up. I got so many things to do inside the trap. It is nonstop. On top of everything else, I got to go to Delta Cargo and get a new venomous reptile, new venomous projects added to the fucking trap can you believe it now i will say i had already added this species about a couple weeks ago and i just added another one so now it's time to kind of talk about this species that i just added to the trap and then we're going to talk a little bit more about what i have planned for trap fest 2022 we're also going to talk a little bit about the podcast so much to update you guys man either way you're now tapped in and it's going to go down first and foremost let's get our asses to delta cargo and let's get this new venomous reptile guys now i don't know how you guys feel or if you've even know about delta cargo but it is definitely my choice when it comes to shipping i mean definitely anything super important i like to go through delta cargo again i don't know about your guys delta cargo in your area but the san diego delta cargo shit's on point i gotta say shout to delta cargo they have been a lot more reliable than fucking fedex nothing against fedex but delta cargo is where it's at when it comes to exotics cartel shit good everybody here we are inside the trap yet again package has safely landed I have to open up this bad boy and go and give it its soak so why don't we go ahead and get it open let's get her out and make sure she's good to go and let's get her a soak that way she's hydrated all right so got the zip ties off uh, soaking bin ready to go so it can get its hydration on once it's open it's a box within a box now there are a couple different ways you could go shipping Delta Cargo. I mean, using these totes is ideal, but if you don't have the insulation or the padding, you know, the styrofoam that goes in here to, to go ahead and give it protection, you could also just put a box within the tote. This is a very player and smart idea. Stephen Cush or Desiree. I'm, I'm assuming this is a Stephen Cush idea. And Desiree, don't get mad, but I'm just saying, very player. Or was it Desiree? I don't know. All right, got the box without the box. Let's 
in here. Oh, hi. She's still sleeping. All right, without further ado, here we have a Hortum Hortum, also known as a black beaded lizard. She's uh, definitely uh, coming out of shed, as you guys can see the dry skin coming off, but that's fine. She looks really, really awesome. And I have one of her sisters already here, as I mentioned, when this vlog started. So we'll check her out here in just a second after we get a good look at this beautiful girl and get her soaking and get her hydrated here. As I recommend on all my vlogs, anytime you get a new shipment and anytime there's a new animal that arrives with you, the first thing you should do is give it a soak. Nine out of 10 times, you're gonna watch that animal drink a lot of water. So let's get this girl inside that bin and let's get her hydrated. Now with these being venomous, you gotta be very careful, um, extremely careful, you know. A bite from one of these is just not a, not a good time. I've heard multiple different stories about how the bites can go. You're good. It's just a little spa time. Uh, but either way, you know, from all the stories I've heard, I don't wanna find out. I'm good, so I'm gonna be very careful. You'll never, See me just picking these up with my hands. And I'm very, for these guys, mad respect. As I show my other beaded. So I have a group of uh, Rio Fuertes, Heloderm exasperatums, just another species of beaded lizards, but they don't look like quite like this. This is like a whole nother level right here. So why we get this one soaking and hydrated, why don't we take a look at her sister, which is already acclimating and already getting you know, used to being here at the trap. So we'll, we'll get a look at her. We'll get a look at her, and we'll let we'll give this girl some some privacy in her little, little spa. So check out her sister. Another Hortum Hortum, black beaded lizard, produced by Steve Angeli. I've uh, had a podcast with uh, probably one of the world's best beaded lizard breeders and uh, Gila monster breeders. But yeah, he made these. These are a Steve Angeli line of Hortum Hortums. And this is the other female. So, new species of beta lizards, like I said, added to the trap. These are my first uh, pair of two females. Now I'm gonna wanna go ahead and get at least two more males, and then I feel like I'll be in the ball game with this uh, project here. But how beautiful is that, man? Look at that. I'm just, anything that's blacked out, I'm a big fan of, you know, anywhere from the cars to the dogs, even though my dogs are brown. But the snakes, lizards, I mean, you can't, you can't just, you cannot be mad at something this sick looking. Like, this is so awesome. So, I believe they're about two years old, which I would believe to get, you know, which at least another two and a half years to three years before there'd be any, do, before there'd be any kind of breeding. So not in too much of a rush to get a male, but I am definitely, am gonna wanna get a male and I'm gonna wanna keep it uh, Steve Angeli for sure. So thank you so much, Steven and Desiree for uh, hooking me up with both of these. I mean, as you guys saw her sister here who's soaking in her beaded spa. I'm very excited to be taking on this project, Hortum Hortum. This is awesome. Add it to the list. I'm such a beaded lizard geek now. Thanks, Forrest. Oh man, gotta love adding chaos on top of chaos. Oh yeah, and I got feeders here. It's just nonstop. Guys, listen, I cannot tell you how much it's been of a grind uh, the last couple of months. Ever, ever since the Focus Cubes got here, I just felt like I've just been nonstop even more than the usual nonstop that I've been. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I love my life. I love all my supporters, like I said. And I love everyone who comes and checks out what I'm showing and what I'm sharing because everything I show on this vlog is all from the grind. It's all off the muscle and it's all from the heart, okay? That being said, I want to say shout out to my Patreon members one more time. It's going to be going down next Thursday right here at Trap Farms Compound, man. This is a yearly event I throw for all my Patreon 
Patreon members, okay? Catering, live music, US ARC events, celebrity, reader, guest appearance, you name it. It's gonna be going down right here on this property. So if you ever want to tap in, if you ever wanna get an invite to this event that happens every year, you're gonna wanna join the Trap Talk Patreon family. Go down to the link below, click on the Drop Talk Patreon family link and join the family today. Once you do, you get tapped into the Discord, you get tapped into so many extra things on top of getting invited to special events like this. But that's all I have on this week's vlog, guys. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if this is your first time. You don't wanna get slept on any of the vlogs I drop here on this channel because you never know what I'm gonna bring to the table. And I gotta say thank you to everyone who shows all my love and support on Trap Talk with MJ Podcast. Shout out to my boy Chris Eaton. We just had our monthly segment of Nobody Safe Session. Me and Chris Eaton of Snakes and the Fat Man dropped another episode where it was just me and him and letting loose. <laughs> it got raw. Anyways, go down to the link below. Make sure you catch that episode. Again, shout out to my Patreon members, man. It's gonna be going down this Thursday. Hope you guys are ready to fucking party because guess what? No podcast is going down next week. I'm taking the whole week off. That's right. I'm even going to be taking the week off from vlogging. Maybe. That's all we're going to have on this week's vlog. I'll catch you here next week for another Six Trap Session vlogs and I'm out. Cheers! Thank you for watching this week's Snake Trap Sessions vlogs. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell that way you're on top of every single vlog that's released here on every Saturday. Please remember to subscribe to Trap Talk with MJ Podcast as well, and I'll catch you guys here next week. Cheers!